this is how you make <clears throat> a ruffled edge on your dishcloth. Um, when you start, you, this will be your last loop that you've pulled through to knot the end of your dishcloth, and it's going to be at one corner. Um, and so you'll have that one chain on your crochet hook. I'm using a size H um, crochet hook. It usually tells that on the back. And you have that one chain, and what you want to do is you want to chain two. At least I think that's what you call it. Um, you can chain two or three or four, depending upon how wide you want your ruffle to be. The next thing you want to do is make a hole about a quarter of an inch over, and you just have to squish it in and sort of make a hole. You want to yarn over and pull that loop through, and then you'll have two loops on your crochet hook. Then you're going to yarn over again and pull both of those through both of those loops to where you just have one uh, loop on your crochet hook again. Then you're just going to start the same process over again by chaining two and then making a hole in your dishcloth. And like I said, you can go as close or as far away as you want. And sometimes it's a little hard to push that through there. Yarn over pull through, you have two loops on your crochet hook, and then you're going to pull those two loops through, that one chain through the two loops, start your process over again by chaining two. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to the end of that row, and I'm almost to my corner, so I want to chain two, and make a hole. Uh, yarn over and pull through those two loops and then chain two in that corner. Um, then I'm going to yarn over, pull that loop through, which gives me the two loops on my crochet hook. Yarn over again, pull through both of those loops and then chain two. Now in your corner, uh, you need to do it twice or even three times to really make it turn well. Um, so I'm going to go do it two times and just see what that looks like. And you can sort of hold it and look and see if it's going around the corner well. Uh, I think that needs one more. So I'm going to actually do it three times in that same hole that I made. So I've already chained two, and I'm going to go back in that hole again, yarn over, pull it through to where I have two loops on my hook, yarn over again, pull through, okay, chain two for the next, okay, and then I've turned my corner, and then I'm just going to start over again. Okay. You have two loops on your chain, your, on the hook, I'm sorry, pull both of those through, chain two. So I've actually uh, put uh, three loops in the corner, three of the stitches in the corner, and then one in that next one, and then two in that one. And what that's uh, giving us a nice turn to our corner. I think it turns out really pretty. I think you could use this in a lot of different applications. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you'll have fun doing that stitch.